Greetings and welcome back, one and all, to Ironcast, where, in the last mission, we literally scraped by by the skin of our teeth. Challenging battle? Uh, no. I don't think so. Collection or battle? Hmm. The streets are littered with the ranks of broken iron cars, some valuable salvage to claim. The area is too dangerous for our usual salvage teams, but you should have no problem fending off the enemy attacks. You may even get lucky and find a working system. Ooh. That actually sounds good. Okay, we'll go with this one. Gotta collect eight scrap chests. Very well. Let's start out with that, see if we can't get a working system. Some of this salvage is heavier than it looks. What have I picked up exactly? <gasps> There's a bomb hidden in this vault generator. The French are leaving us booby traps. Enemies approaching, no time to unload cargo. I have no choice but to try and disarm it. If I match eight, the, that should do the trick. I don't like having to do it during a fight though. I do, it's quite fun. Ooh, that's an interesting looking iron cast. Very interesting looking iron cast. 22, 100, okay. Kind of shield. 39 is max, 21 is max. Wow. This one seems to want us to start off with lots of damage. I approve. Let us get the lots of damage, shall we? Also, a little bit of power. There we are. A little bit more power. And mm. yeah, we'll grab a little bit of medicking as well. Okay, raise shields. Our shields are active. Ten percent of all weapon damage will be reflected back to the source weapon for the next two turns. Yeah, let's turn that on. And let's get walking. Um. No, we've got a 30 shield. I'm not going to worry about it too much. There we go. A little bit of damage to himself. Oh, wow. He's really powering up his uh, shield and his movement. Okay. Right. First and foremost, let's go for the shield system. Now he's got 26 there. I could hit him with a little bit from those weapons, but I'd rather just go for a lot from this one. There we go, again. Oh, bad luck. And again. There we are. Nice work. Now, we really do actually quite badly need power. Oh, that's glorious. Uh, we'll take this power so we can keep the shield active. Since we'll actually get a bonus for having that active. Now. Go for a little bit of extra DACA. I think I will. Let's try and do a little bit more damage to him while we can. Okay, not bad at all. We've done a huge amount of damage to his shield already. But for this round, since we only have 15, I'm turning on my resilience. Not bad. Okay. Fair bit of power there. Way too much repair nodes around, though, for my liking. Activate shields. Just grab three. And go for a shield again. Right, shields are down on that system, and he's already losing health quite quickly. We've got eight turns. We need to get another, quite a lot of these, actually. Let's get moving so that we're not under any particular danger. Now I want some more repair. I'll proc that. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. We need a lot more coolant though. 
we're going to fire our gun again. Now that has made a very attractive scrap chain there. And I've got very little coolant. Very little coolant indeed. And I'm going to be very vulnerable from his attacks now, so... Mind you, he's also fairly vulnerable as well. Let's go for this. Oh, really? Damn it. Try again. Damn, all of those shots missed. That was particularly bad. Okay, well, there's nothing I can do. That's on two. Oh, thank goodness he didn't have enough to activate it. Okay. Right. We need power right now so let's get that we will then get this that actually worked out quite well for us and we'll get all of that play shields turn on reflection hmm. fire again that's a bit better don't fire again otherwise we'll do an enormous amount of damage to ourselves Three more crates are needed. Okay, this is going to hurt. Actually, he did a little bit of damage to himself as well. Ooh. Quite a lot to me, but a reasonable amount to himself. He's very, very low now on coolant, which is good to see. So am I. Okay, proc this. We are going to go for as much scrap as we can. There we are. Link this up. Huge amount of repair. Okay, get everything repaired. And then... He's got 26 on his shield, so there's very little I'm going to be able to do to it, so... Let's just raise our shields instead. Ah, oh, I can't afford to do it any further than that. So we'll just get the reflective shield on. Two more crates are needed. Okay, he's spreading his damage, which is a poor strategy, honestly, in my opinion. Alright. No, we don't want to go start with that one. We want to start with this one. There we go. And next. There we go. Not a huge amount of coolant, but we win anyway. Spire, I'm pulling out. I've just had to defuse a bomb. Tell the other salvage teams to be careful what they pick up. Shall do, Commander. Have you found anything of use? Actually, yes. I've reclaimed a cannon in good working order. Permission to keep it? By all means, get the rest back to us ASAP. Very well. I'm actually pleased with getting a cannon. Didn't manage to destroy the enemy. Perhaps I should have tried to go for a kill before I uh, made that last match, actually. Since that would have given me a little bit of extra rewards. Ooh. 59 to 78. Number of shots, two. That's actually a potent weapon. And Beechwood tends to get a little bit more damage with his projectile weapons rather than energy weapons. Okay, what do we get? I don't really want that one. Weapon damage is boosted by 10% if attached weapon is fired while salmon bar is full, or there is a 10% chance that the damage of each of your shots is increased by 10%. I'll take that one. Now, I would not mind... Did we not get a new cannon? Oh, did we flat out get a new cannon? Oh, well that would be very nice. Hmm. No, I would rather have that one. Cover the shock coils. There we go. Oops, I forgot again. One day I'll learn. Now, did we not just get... Oh, right, it's not an actual augment. It's a, it's a flat-out ability. I like it. I could increase my health even more. Um... Or increase the capacitor further. It's a difficult choice, that one. 
Very difficult choice. This is a better system. But not by much. Now I'm going to increase our armour by two. So that brings us up to an extra hundred on our armour. That's actually pretty nice. And it's not something I've done before really. Started upgrading the armour. So maybe it'll help. Survival in Croydon. Collection in Petersfield. And a survival in Winchester. Hmm. This is the harder of them it seems. The French army's only route through this territory is the natural choke point. They will, they will have no option but to send iron cast through single file. Use this to your advantage and hold them back as long as you can while they are unable to surround you. You must survive against the enemy forces for six turns. I suspect we'll be able to do that. However, 12 crates of rations. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I do apologize. That cough had been kind of working its way up, threatening to burst out for a little while, but uh, I wasn't expecting that just then. Uh, no, we're going to go with Winchester. Let's see how we do. Where am I? Ah, there we are. Ah, yes, of course, I'm defending. I'm in position, but I came under fire. Heavy fire on the way here. No damage to my hull, but one of my fluid tanks has been ruptured and I'm leaking coolant. What? Are you able to continue with the mission? Yes, I think so, but I'll need to keep an eye on my coolant levels. Well, that's absolutely rubbish. Oh, look at that swanky iron cast over there. Ah, how utterly rubbish. Hmm. Let's go for some early ammo if we can. Ooh. Let's think about this for a second. Actually, let's do this in another way. Like so. My lord. That's a crazy amount. And... Have we got any more power? No, not really. But we can clear the field of some of the repair. Okay, raise shields. Turn on reflective shields and resilience for four turns. Uh, sorry, for this turn. Ooh, that was nasty. That was to my primary weapon. That shield is up pretty high already. Never mind, we can easily repair that. Now I am going to need... You know what, let's turn that on. Am I going to get two of these? Oh, I am! Wow, that's a potent ability when used right. Egads, that's good. Okay. Well... Let's go for that. Okay, well actually that would have been better to have done first. I should have activated this system first. And then gone for the second one. But... Go ahead and just raise the shield up again. We're at 60 now. That's the only thing that's going to be able to punch through. Even remotely. Go for it. Oh, that was a good shot. And again, please. And once more. Shield down. That cannon is glorious. It's unlikely he's going to be able to punch through my shields on this turn. No. Okay, however, I do not have any more shields, which is not particularly good. Grab some more coolant. Fantastic. That's what I was hoping would happen. Raise shields. Twice. Up to 45. That's not too bad. 
Now, whilst your shields are down, let's go for... Yeah, let's go for this. In fact, you know what? Let's go for the drive system. I rarely go for drives, but... Um, maybe not. Now, let's apply damage to everything. There we go. That's pretty good. Now, the nice thing with that is that although this system is completely damaged, it still does a bunch of damage to it. It still does the damage for that. Uh, that is four pieces of damage at the splash damage on all systems, even dead ones. Okay, right, well on this turn I flat out need to get some of this off the field. Mm. That hasn't made it much better, honestly, in fact, it's made it a little bit worse. Uh... I can afford to raise this once, so let's do this. There we go, all the way up to 60. That's fine. You've got a free turn this round. Repair this shield, okay. And not done too much damage to me, thankfully. Okay, let's repair that. We absolutely need the coolant at this point. There's no two ways about it. We have to pick the coolant up. In fact, if we want to do anything this round, we're going to, going to need to uh, go for both matches of coolant. Let's activate these, as we're not going to be doing a whole lot to defend ourselves, and go for that. I'm surprised both hit, honestly, considering 21% chance to dodge. Pleasantly surprised. And he's taking my shields off completely. Well, there's plenty of repairs on the field that I can pick up, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. What I do want, though, is this. There we go. Now I am going to have to let him have this round, unfortunately. But at least I've got my shields back up to 30. So it means my uh, reflection is back online. Ooh, my drives are down, but that's fine. I wasn't actually uh, walking around much anyway. Enemy Iron Casts are retreating! Wonderful! They will need time to regroup before they try to break through again. You should fall back to repair station. We will have them fix your coolant tank. Also, as a reward for your excellent service, we will have them reinforce your hull. Free of charge! I appreciate that. Lord Beechwood out. I do, actually, really appreciate that. It's fantastic news. One level. It's not too bad. These roads are bloody long, to be fair. The amount of walking that gets done. There we go. Now, what are we going to get? Uh, ammo nodes 5% more often. Attached weapon has an extra 5% chance to automatically overdrive when fired. Hmm. Now, we're going to go with this one. And the ammo nodes is nice, but uh, no, that one is much better. I would like you on weapon B, please. And we've got enough for another system upgrade. We could go for some extra coolant. We could go for some extra repair. You know what? I'm going to go for some extra repair because that'll give us, at max tank, the ability to repair three systems. But on that note, I'm going to have to wrap this episode up here. I do hope you've liked the episode and will be joining me for the next. But until then, and as always, do take care.